Yo, what is up guys, Mace here, back with another video, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to time remap in Premiere Pro, so I'm just going to make a quick little video, um, tomorrow, I'm going to start grinding for Zen, so I'm going to have my Zen RC montage, uh, coming out soon, um, and I'm also slowly making the switch over to Premiere, so I'm still going to use DaVinci a little bit, but I'm also going to use Premiere, so, uh, let's just get right into it, so we're going to do, you're going to name the project whatever you want, I'm going to name it Time your map tutorial and then once you're in uh you're just gonna drag in um a clip so just drag in your clip uh okay there's markers on it already whatever but you're just gonna go to your sequence settings up here so you press sequence and then sequence settings you're gonna want to change it to 60 fps uh you can also change the resolution and stuff i'm gonna leave it at 1920 by 1080 and then um now let me just delete these markers real quick because I don't I really don't know why there's markers. Uh just clear all markers. Alright. So just make sure you have your effect controls open. I'm gonna delete the audio just because. Uh this is this is not my clip either. This is Mr. Savage's you can see up there. So you're just gonna use your arrow keys to find where the shot hit. So right here, you can see the blue. So I'm just press M on your keyboard once you find that. And then I'm also gonna drag in a song. I'm gonna be using Brag by AJ Gravity. Um I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit, use this to zoom out. And there's a mark there's a marker on that also. And then also I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So put it down to like 13. I must have used these before and it, ha it saved the marker. So now I'm just going to line this up until you see uh, this line, that black line right there. And then um, let's just extend this. So now it's synced. Turn this down a little bit. And then now we got our clip synced. And um, now we're going to start the time remapping. So right here is when the shot hits. Um, you're gonna s go to your, f click on the clip and then go to your effect controls. Um, and if you don't see this, the keyframe stuff right here, just drop down the time remapping menu. And then drop down this also. This will help us change the speed. So right on the shot, you're gonna press the little keyframe button. And then you're gonna go eight frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keyframe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to the left again. So now right here we have, this is 16 frames, this is 8 frames. And um, after that, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And change the 16 frame portion. So in here, uh, you're just going to drag this line down to 50. You can see right here where it says 50 and if you don't see this line you just have to drop down the speed thing and then zoom in I'm gonna zoom in again and then this this one in the middle right here uh, I'm gonna change this to 200 so just drag this all the way up to 200 it's glitching out a little sorry about the background noise so I'm gonna just, that's 199 same thing so uh, now that's 199 so 50 and then 200 right here and then just drag this at the the last after the after the kill oh my god my brother's so loud okay so um <laughs> so you're and you're just gonna change the end right here to 50 so uh now you have this as you can see it's nice velocity but it's not synced perfectly so just go right see the shot hits right there so let's click on the clip press m and then uh, I'm gonna also remove this this marker right here. Wait, I'm just gonna clear this marker right. Now I'm just gonna do clear all markers and then find where the shot hits again. So it's just a couple frames off sync, but uh, just find a marker on where it hits and then line it up again. And now you have this. And that's it. 
So, also, I'm just going to add a little impact real quick. So, uh, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. So, you're going to go down here, press new item, and then um, adjustment layer. I'm going to make, and then make the settings that you want it to be. Press OK, and then drag this right here, right on the shot. Uh, so, go to the effects tab after this, and then over here, just search up um, S underscore shake. You're going to need Sapphire plugins for this. Um, I'll have a tutorial link down in the description on how to download them so um now it has a shake but i'm just gonna load my preset real quick um you guys can copy my settings so i'm gonna let this load i'm gonna use my basic impact so right here are the settings for it here i'll expand this a little bit so amplitude one frequency 25 all you really have to change is the frequency to 25 and we're gonna press this little press this little amplitude button or this little stopwatch next to the amplitude uh press that and then just go uh 15 frames to the right after the shot so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then drag this all the way okay that's weird drag this all the way down to zero um and then now we're good i'm sorry about that and then just change the wrap x and wrap y to reflect so when the shake because when it's on no there's black bars like right there there's black so you want to just press reflect and reflect and now we have a little impact and um yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna add um, uh some color correction so you know just to make it look good. So let me do that real quick. Right here. Oh, I got a keyframe that amplitude again. Drag this down. This okay. And then let me just add my color correction. I'm so sorry. He said, right. Let's load my preset. You guys can also use copy my settings. So hue shift negative 0 0.015, uh, saturation 0 0.950, brightness 1.050, offset dark 0 0.077, blur mask 12, and use Luma for the mask use. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is short short little tutorial. Uh, like I said earlier, my Zen RC will be coming out pretty soon trying to make it to the team oh uh, yeah make sure make sure to like and subscribe and peace